Hey, my name is Thomas Pickett. I'm going to talk a little bit about my family. I know I'm supposed to pick the weirdest and strangest one, but uh, it's a little hard to do. There are a lot of weird, strange people that I'm related to. I'll hit my mom's side of the family first, is that she has a uh, two sisters. She has a twin sister and a younger sister by 11 months. They're all pretty close. I call that pair Tweedledum and Tweedletwit. Uh, Tweedledum likes to get busy with her hands. She likes to pick up things and walk out of stores without paying them, which is always a little fun thing to do. And then also, too, is Tweedletwit. Now, she's, uh, what makes her funny is, uh, when she was young, she did this one thing where she got a pot lid, and she thought it would be a good idea to put the, the handle inside her mouth, and it got stuck. So I think she had to go through, like, an entire day before they could get it out. They had to put butter and everything on it to, uh, get it out of her mouth. She thought it was a good idea. She has continued that trend. Um, it's always funny to tell her a story because she always sounds like she's high. It's always, ooh. And uh, at least she's interested. It's nice to talk to her. Uh, then uh, moving on to my mom. My mom's very crafty. Uh, she likes to make a lot of stuff. She always has something going on. It's always funny to go over to my parents' house and she was always like, oh, look what I made. And you're just always like, well, what is it? You know, and she's like, well, it's a thing, you know. And, you know, it has arms and legs. And you're like, oh, okay. And she has all this craft stuff. She's a, basically a simulated the house. Um, I feel sorry for my stepfather. I think now his stuff is just in the front end closet, and that's all he's got. He's got his office in the front end closet, and that's what he calls his uh, domain. But uh, I helped her once, uh, tried to move some things, and uh, that uh, there was so much stuff in here, it's like, uh, you know, it's just like, well, you know, it's like, I bet if I look around here long enough, I'm going to find a sarcophagus. And she's like, oh, will you stop it? Now go pick up the sarcophagus and move it over there. Uh, let's see here. That's our, my uh, biological father's family is just tons. There's tons of relatives or whatever, and uh, all of them funny and special in their own way. Uh, well, and I have this uncle that lives in Phoenix, Arizona, um, and uh, it's funny. He's very cost-effective. He likes to do everything in Mexico, and uh, his dental work and get his hair cut, and which is funny because I think it's the same place. So it's kind of nice that you can get your dental work done while you're getting your hair done. Now, I don't know what's worse, is to think that your uh, barber is going to work with your teeth or your dentist is going to work with your hair. But uh, doesn't understand them, just gives them a few bucks and everything's groovy. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Well, I, I have to think that the, probably the strangest person in my family, or the weirdest, is really me. I, uh, I really want to be on the radio, which is strange. Uh, I, I'm, I do stand-up comedy, uh, second-degree black belt. Um, I do weird and bizarre things when I'm out. Uh, once I was at a uh, lesbian karaoke bar, and uh, I was trying to figure out what to sing. And uh, what I thought would be the best thing, I went up, and then she, the person looked at me, and she's like, Well, you can sing this, but you better not be making fun of anybody. And uh, I was like, yeah, no problem. Would I? And so I went up there and I sang I Am Woman. And I have never seen, there was these two butch, um, butch lesbians in the corner. I, I swear they crushed their glass and I thought they were going to get me after the thing. But uh, my friends laughed and we all had a good time. And uh, I do a lot of stuff like that. Uh, another incident, uh, which is the greatest story ever told is that uh, two of my buddies and I were hanging out at this girl's house. And my, my two buddies at, on the first floor passed out. And uh, I was the only one left with this girl. And we started eh, kissing a little bit and kind of making out. But there was no place where to sleep. And she's like, well, you can sleep with me, but we're not going to do anything. And I'm just like, yeah, sure, whatever. So we, we passed out together or whatever. And, you know, cuddling is people do or whatever and in the morning as the sun broke you know the sun was like glittering on her head and we smiled at each other and then her eyes opened wide and she's like who the hell are you and then she did not remember me and as she said that I could hear my friends go what and then just hear like little like padding feet and the door slam or whatever and so we all booked out of the house and I had to call and say and it's like I am the man the other funny thing, there's a lot of stupid, retarded things to me. I get two magazine subscriptions. I get Mental Floss, which is this magazine Mint, uh, like people that Mensa advertises in. It's got lots of facts and figures. Hey, it's got Einstein on the cover. 
Then I also get King Magazine, which is uh, the illest magazine ever. It's uh, got many ads for uh, rims, as I like to hear about my rims, and it's got a lot of, uh, you know, pictures of uh, women with big asses on it. And it's like, that's me. And it's, uh, so, could there be any two subscriptions more farthest apart that one person could get? And that's me. So, I, I have to make the thing, the judgment that I am probably the weirdest man in uh, my family. So, uh, it's, uh, reporting on myself. Uh, I'm Thomas Pickett, and, uh, hope, uh, I hope to get to talk more.